tomorrow there's going to be a sunset the sheds rally and i'm uh, which is basically um people who oppose having restaurant sheds on um which is basically outside dining on sidewalks or in roadways and um it's in preparation to gain momentum to show the opposition to um to the restaurant sheds and basically it's a program called open restaurants because there's a, a city council public hearing on Tuesday and which is open to the public I've actually signed up to testify and I hope you do too and um, where people can voice what they think because there's two bills um, one to pass the zoning text amendment that was um, that have been has been going through different phases of public um, public hearings and discussion um, through the government land review process and then the second is um, is actually a bill that was introduced at the request of the mayor that creates the that um, ends the restaurant oh, sorry the um open restaurants program as um as it is right now it makes it permanent and is governed by the department of transportation which is a necessary bill to for to have the zoning text amendment go through and i am going to be um i'm going to be against both of these bills and i will be calling on city council members to elim to eliminate the open restaurants program and tomorrow is really exciting even though it's going to be 27 degrees when i sp when i speak um but i am speaking with an illustrious group of um politicians to oppose the restaurant sheds and the open restaurants program which is really exciting and perhaps some of the people may may like support the the open restaurants program but they may not support it in its current in the proposed capacity that it will be under the department of transportation um that they're questioning whether or not how how much like what are the rules of how far a restaurant can create sidewalk dining as well as roadway dining. Um, Deborah Glick, who is the um, current New York Assembly member for, um, I believe it's Dist um, Assembly District 66, which is um, overlaps with the um, Community Board 2, which has the highest number of restaurant sheds in the entire five boroughs. She's speaking first. And then Chris Marte, who is council, city council member for district one, he's speaking second. And his district, um, one moment, his district encompasses probably the high, has the highest number of restaurant sheds in the entire five boroughs. And then thirdly is Victoria um, Farvello, who is running for New York State, I believe it is now Senate District 29. Um, yesterday, the uh, the districts for New York State, New York State Senate and New York State Assembly were voted on by the New York State Legislature. So the district she was initially running for has changed its number and now she's I'm actually in her district whereas before yesterday I was in a different district so I can vote for her if I want if I choose but she has been actively opposing the restaurant sheds as well and then there's me um former um former candidate for council district two and I'm also a resident of community board three and community board three has the second highest number of restaurant sheds 
in its district. We have over a thousand. So, and in community board two, they have over 1,200. So that's over, in lower Manhattan, there are over 2,000, over 2,200 restaurant sheds down here, which is pr pretty crazy and too many. So I'm excited about tomorrow that I'm going to be speaking with this illustrious crowd and also I'm going to um, be talking about that we need to, we need our, rush, our sidewalks and our streets back. This is public space and it should not be privatized. Thank you. Bye. Mom, can I build this?